love my wife, Leslie, and I now and forever continue to mourn her every day. Dr. Robert Newlander told the court he did not take a life when he read a written statement during sentencing in late July. He shared those same words in a letter we've obtained. My family and I are now suffering the pain and anguish of an innocent man condemned to prison. This is one of three letters sent during the weeks following sentencing from Robert Newlander inside an Elmira Correctional. And friends like you who truly know us think that I am innocent and that he's this corresponding is with most Kim Batista. To me. I wrote him a letter back in, I want to say like April, and then he started writing to me when he went to uh, Elmira. Why did you write him a letter? What, what inspired you to do that? I felt bad for him, I felt bad for his family, and I didn't believe that he did it. The first letter in Dr. Newlander's own hand was written on August 13th. In it, he commends Batista for her support. He reaffirms what he has said since his arrest, conviction, and sentencing, saying, quote, I and my family have to endure the pain and suffering of an innocent man who's been wrongfully incarcerated. The good part about the appeal is that it will be out of the county and away from the nefarious influences. Batista's connection began because Newlander's brother Ovid performed surgery on her. She felt Dr. Newlander got an unfair shake, especially on the issue of potential juror misconduct. Her letters to him in prison are welcome and appreciated. From Elmira, he writes, prison life is a whole different dimension from what I was used to, but I have acclimated well and have found good people even here. I would say that some of the people I have met in here are of more character and integrity than those who place them in here, like the DA and the judge.